What is going on, ladies and gentlemen? My name, of course, is Multi-Kills HD, as most of you guys probably already know. So, let's go ahead and get into this commentary, guys, because there's a lot of things happening around us right now in the gaming community. Not necessarily gaming-wise, but as in console-wise, and there is one game that is sparking a ton of attention just because of the sheer size of this game that's coming out in March or so. So, let's go ahead and get into this because it's going to be a longer commentary and in this gameplay I'm going to go ahead and mention it once before it starts. Um, I get 51 kills in this gameplay and like 48 confirms and 6v6 kill confirms. So, I'm definitely playing the objective just a little bit too much and uh, I believe it was actually during a clan up. So, you know, makes it even better. Alright, so what I want to talk about today is the Durango Xbox. If you guys don't know, Durango is a codename for the Xbox 720. That's one that they assigned to it about a year ago, and the only reason that anybody ever figured out about that, that that was the code name for it, was because one of them was actually sold way before anybody else knew about it. And what happened was, is they had pictures, they had basically the menu to show that it was an actual Xbox that they were showing, and it had all the coding in it, and they were basically just posting pictures every week of everything that the Xbox 720 had, whether it be, you know... In, what's inside the Xbox 720 graphics wise graphics card processor wise you know just everything inside of it well we recently found out that the Xbox 720 or the Durango Xbox has finally started to leave the beta stage and what does that mean well the beta is starting to come to an end so what does that mean the Xbox 720 is going to be and you know production mode for the next couple months. So that almost leaves us wondering, with this little tip, how long will it be before the Xbox 720 actually comes out? And that's a good question. Well, we recently learned, as of yesterday, or the day before, that the Xbox 720, or the Durango Xbox, is supposed to be announced at E3 in 2013. And that could only leave us wondering, is it coming out in fall or winter of 2013, now that the beta's done? And everybody that has access to this is saying that it's starting to be its finishing touches on this. So, I would say that the Xbox 720 is going to be finally coming out in the year of 2013. We can only just wait and hope that it comes out soon. So, with that being said, there's my little lesson for you guys on the Xbox 720. Now, I want to talk about Grand Theft Auto 5. Alright, so... You guys may say, wow, there's a lot of things going around about this game right now. And some of them are positive, some of them are negative. Well, I want to talk about some of the positive about this game and some of the negative. Alright, so a negative thing about this game, or positive, you can almost classify it as both if you really wanted to. If you're a big fan of Grand Theft Auto, you're going to enjoy this. But some of the people that who love their Xbox storage is going to be hating this game. Alright, so the amount of size for this new Grand Theft Auto is five times, five times bigger than any other Grand Theft Auto or Skyrim game that has ever been created. So you can literally drive around probably for two or three hours to get to the other side of the map at this point. So, you know, some of you guys are going to be liking that and whatnot, but they're saying that it's going to take 12 to 15 and maybe for certain users, 24 gigabytes of storage just for this game's extras because the the game itself most of it will go on a disc and you know it's not anything hidden right now that's Halo 4 had a problem where everything was on the disc but they still did not have enough room so they had to have an installation disc well people are starting to wonder if there's going to have to be two installation disc and one normal game in the case so it's sparking a lot of attention because People who don't have that big of a storage device on their Xbox or hard drive or whatever the case is, will they be able to play the game efficiently with, you know, only one or, you know, one-fifth of the game being playable for them because their Xbox hard drive isn't big enough? Or is it going to be compressed into one disc, which has never been done before? So that is leaving a lot of attention there, too. But my opinions on Grand Theft Auto is it's going to be the new game changer of Xbox. And the reason I say that is Grand Theft Auto has been known to leave off with their old consoles such as the PlayStation 2. They've done this. With the PlayStation 2, they left off with San Andreas, I believe. I think that was the name of it. I don't remember. I I'm pretty sure that was the last one that they left off on PlayStation 2. And the graphics on that game are still better than half the Xbox ones right now. 
So, with that being said, guys, we can almost hope and assume it's going to be an insane game. So, you know, can't wait for that. Can't wait to hear any more news about this Durango. I'll keep you guys informed about the Durango or the Xbox 720 because it is getting closer to time. People are starting to wonder about it. Anyways, if you guys could do me a quick favor, make sure to hit the like button. And anyways, my name is Monster Kills HD, and I'm out. Peace.